Hi guys, welcome to Abjada. In this one, I'm going to discuss some of the frequently asked questions on Svelte. So I have faced uh, most of these. Uh, the first one being uh, using an anchor tag, an empty anchor tag or an anchor tag having a pound sign or hash. So let's create it. So right after you create it, you'll see that there is a accessibility issue which says uh, hash is not a valid extra. Now that is true because uh, anchor tags are meant for you know going to another page. Uh, one way to avoid it is use a button instead or uh, another way to avoid it if you really want to use this then just uh, cover it with uh, curly braces and uh, this should go away. All right that's the first one. The second one is uh, passing uh, multiple arguments on an inline function. Uh, now imagine there is a button. Just remove this as well. Something great, and you want to pass some argument here to a great function. Uh, something like name and age this is how you do it and you can receive it through that function const uh, create name age uh, you may want to like console all that I don't know you can do anything there hi name your age is uh, sorry age now uh, this is how you I, I think you probably already knew this but some people um, not sure of how to do this have a you know have a you know function here uh, don't run this directly and uh, for let's imagine you want to uh, get the event then uh, you just run something uh, clicked or something uh, I'll just mention that for event you don't need that because you can just get it here if I uh, console.log or yeah console.log e uh, I should get uh, what whatever is in the you know uh, whatever the event is so uh, what happened here uh, yeah let me click on it and I'll see the console I am getting the event right that's how it works to get the event details you don't want uh, anything but if you want to pass an argument you need something like a function and then uh, then you have to pass the arguments here all right yeah, that's that's one this one is interesting how to loop uh, x amount of times so let's say there is a each function uh, let's say I wanted to run I wanted to repeat uh, repeat something uh, five times okay so the way to do that is using this array uh, five as uh, x and I so we'll be using the index here or uh, we won't use any of those. Let's imagine I want to like have a li which says hello uh, five times. I can use that. Uh, if I want to use uh, the numbers, I can use this. I and if I want to start it from one to three four, I can use i plus one. Um, X is you know not being X is actually undefined, so you can also use an underscore there, which is actually. Uh, right if you're not you now using something in javascript you now we use underscore now there is another way of doing this instead of array 5 you can also use curly braces length 5 this should also work uh, as as before all right uh, now the next one is uh, running something when uh, something else changes right now imagine we have a count here let count equals zero uh, we'll show the count 
na ina na chwa. And then uh, a button to increment. On click. We do count equals count plus one. Now it should increment. Uh, the easier way to do this is uh, plus equals one. This will also do the same thing. Um, now uh, let's imagine I want, I have a function uh, const mm, square or something. Square equals which shows uh, the square of the uh, number. The square is um, count star um, star count. Now what it does is you know it multiplies the same number again. Uh, I can run uh, squared here. Now it has a run already, the square is zero, but if I increment it doesn't run. Uh, for reactivity we use this uh, dollar and then hyphen squared, but still it doesn't work because it is not dependent on the count. So because we are not using count anymore. So if you want it to run every time count changes, what you can do is you can use count comma squared. Now, every time the count changes, this function will run. So yeah, that's all uh, for this one, guys. I hope this was useful. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.